Pool season coming up real soon in the city of Cleveland. The city pools will be open from the second weekend in June. That's next weekend through the second weekend in August on Wednesdays through Sundays from noon to 730. Cleveland runs more than two dozen swimming pools, spray basins and splash pads. It looks like fun. Sure does, and I'm hoping that this weekend more pool season for us. Yeah, pool season's already open at the Wins household. Oh, I'm oh. there. Yeah, okay. it's how our well went dry. So <laughs> it's that, but it's recovering nicely. It's great, uh, <laughs> and the kids don't use it either. It's great. Uh, but anyway, yeah, great weekend for pool weather. Uh, it is going to get a little ch on the chillier side. We'll just say that as okay. we're we're transitioning from this heat back to cooler weather next week. So okay. I really think you're going to notice that. Uh, the big thing we need is rain. So let's talk about it. We'll start with the heat. This is as warm as we're going to be for a little while around here. 91 today in New Philadelphia. You got away from Lake Erie and boy, was it warm today. They tied a record in New Philly. Mansfield, Ashtabula, both near 90 degrees. And you notice, well, Ashtabula is near the lake. What are you talking about? Well, the wind was out of the northeast, so that lake breeze came inland in Cuyahoga County and then the west side. Kind of interesting. Ashtabula was spared from that. All of us mild here this evening. What a warm Friday night out there, 60s and 70s. If you notice, or if you've been joining me the last couple of nights, this is a lot warmer than where we've been. We've been in the 50s already this hour, and the reason why is we've added moisture. We were talking about that little dose of humidity today and tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow morning, dew points are going to be very similar to this, so you are going to feel that air tomorrow. It's been a while since we've had some humidity, and it's not to the west that we look. This is where all the humidity has been. It's actually to the east, our flow coming out of the north like this, so there's this little pool of higher dew points that will move in here tonight and tomorrow, so that will give us a little bit of a sticky feeling tomorrow through afternoon, and that's also what may kick off a couple showers if we're lucky, and this is how we've got a cold front out towards our north. We saw the high clouds floating in for that sunset tonight off with us. Some of those thunderstorms, most of them driven by the heating of the day. So you're seeing it kind of winding down out towards the western US. It has been a smorgasbord of rain and storms and lightning and all sorts of activity that they usually don't see this time. Usually it's dry in the Rockies. But they've been getting all the rain for us. We have to wait on this little dry system off towards the north. It's a frontal boundary behind us. We're going to turn our winds briskly out of the northeast out ahead of it. We get that higher dew point air and this arrives tomorrow morning. Can we kick off thunderstorms out ahead of the drier air moving in? That's going to be the big question. So everything kind of goes away tonight. Here comes the front. We don't have the daytime heating at 6 a.m., but we'll start to heat up. Here's the front. There you go. It's going to kick off some storms as it's pushing out. So can we get some rain? Here in Northeast Ohio, I think we can in some of our southern counties. Cleveland, Ashtabula, Sandusky, I don't think it's in, it's in the cards for us tomorrow. And then we bring in more dry air. If you're traveling out east for some reason, this low pressure is going to develop and sit there for multiple days. They're talking 50s and rain and wind out towards Boston this week. So uh, we're not in a bad spot in the weather map despite no rain. Closer look at this, National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Mild start tomorrow, we'll have sunshine. Some clouds will bubble up midday. There's your rain. I think our model may be overdoing it. I'd push it further south. We'll see your chances again away from the city. And then wind starts to pick up and we'll cool down. We're back into the 50s tomorrow night. Comfortably cool around here on Sunday. As that wind kicks up, the waves are as well. It's going to come a length of Lake Erie. And we're talking waves three to six, maybe seven footers developing by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night and Sunday. So not a good boating weekend and the rip currents are going to be out there as well. So not a good weekend to be in the lake, although it is cool behind us. We turn almost fall like this is a rare air mass with virtually no humidity that's coming in here to start next week. It's going to be gorgeous. So your weekend Sunday going to be more comfortable than Saturday. Both days will be mainly dry. Let's talk rainfall chances from here. Where do we go? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All the way through Friday and Friday doesn't look good. The real next chance of rain comes next weekend. Take a look. Dry weather for us. Couple boundaries pass dry. Here's the mess out towards the east, just east of us. But it's this front here. This is Thursday, next Friday, next Saturday, next Sunday. Let's do it. There we go. Will that hold in the modeling? That's going to be the big question. I think it will. It's been pretty consistent over the last couple days, but that would be our next real good chance. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. Beautiful weekend, beautiful start to the week, kind of chilly on Wednesday. And then guys, we bring in that rain chance Sunday. I'll keep tracking that. It is not June 10th. Like I've been saying, it's June 11th now, Russ. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. look at that. Hey, Matt, thanks so much. We appreciate you.